Today, uh, we were at Hafta Tier Square, and uh, I and so many other women, we were standing uh, in uh, in a corner because, uh, if you know, uh, there's a lot of shops for uh, manto, I don't know, ropes for women, and uh, the shops were closed. And uh, we were waiting there, and uh, suddenly the messages came. The messages were um, the, the militiamen, yeah? Yeah. And they said, go, uh, go away. And uh, there was an old uh, woman. She said, it's my country. It's my uh, town. Well, uh, I don't want to go. I want to stay here. And I'm waiting for my husband. Uh, he's going to uh, pick me up. Uh, but he said, uh, he said three times, that's go away, and uh, they didn't listen, and uh, suddenly uh, they hit uh, the women so badly, and she was injured. The old woman? Yeah, she was injured, and other, uh, three other women uh, that uh, were standing there, we ran away, and they uh, screamed a lot, and I helped one of them. And uh, I understand that, were you, were you going to attend uh, this uh, memorial, this demonstration, uh, after this woman, yeah, Neda, yeah. was killed? Yeah, I was, uh, I helped her go home and I uh, returned there uh, and they said, uh, we were um, um, staying at the bus stop because uh, they couldn't uh, say anything when we were at bus stop and we said we want to go with, uh, by bus and uh, when a bus came, uh, they forced us to uh, take that bus because they said if anyone uh, uh, doesn't take that bus, we go, uh, we're going to hit, hit uh, her, or her or him. Yeah. Why are you going out into the streets? Why are you trying to at uh, attend these demonstrations? Because I think it's my um, responsibility. Because uh, many of my friends are dead in this um, in this situation, and uh, when I stay home, I'm worried about my friends, other women, other boys that are killed, that are hit, and I think uh, I should go. Maybe I can help them. Do you know your foreign ministry called the elections this month a precious gem? They said they were wonderful and that they, they were successful. What do you think about these presidential mm -hmm. elections? Uh, I think it was successful because uh, I don't know why they uh, make a fool of themselves because everyone knows that we, um, we were uh, taking part in that election because we didn't want uh, Ahmadinejad to become our president. And we did that because uh, we uh, wanted Hossein Musavi to be our president. And uh, it wasn't because of our regime or, our, um, I don't know, leader said that. It was just because we didn't want Ahmadinejad to uh, become the president, and unfortunately he is. If you don't mind if I ask you a question as well, I'm, I'm here on the set. This is Kira. I'm with Ivan uh, on the set here in the CNN Center in Atlanta. Do you think mm -hmm. that men there in Iran are, are looking at all of you differently now. Your role, your ability to come out in protest, to, to take a stand, to stand up against the violence. Do you think you're being viewed differently uh, by the, just the average man there in Iran? Yeah, yeah, we are different from, I personally, I'm different. I think I'm a different girl from the next week, from the previous week, uh, I'm sorry because um, I think I'm a little braver now, because uh, when uh, someone uh, gets hit once, the second time I think doesn't matter. For me it's like this, because uh, when they wanna hit me, I say hit, I have been hit uh, so many times, and this time it doesn't matter. I just wanna help my brothers and my sisters. What do you say to the security forces and to the Basiji when they come and try to attack you? Uh, I, I tell them, are you Iranian? If you are, then why do you um, kill your brother? Why, uh, why do you hit your mother, your um, sisters? And uh, if you're not, what are you doing here? We all uh, tell them, if you're Iranian, uh, you shouldn't do that to your uh, uh, people, to your own country's people. And do you see more young women, even older women, uh, coming out on the streets and protesting uh, and standing up uh, for their rights. Are, are you seeing maybe uh, relatives or friends or other families that normally wouldn't come out and voice their opinion? Are you seeing more women come out and get involved? 
Um, yeah, if you want the truth, I think uh, women are more than men in the streets. Today, uh, I was uh, just with the women because um, they think uh, that um, forces don't hit them, but they're wrong. But they stay there. Uh, the women are all together and they say we want to stay here and uh, they are so more than men. Why do you think the woman's voice is so important in what we're seeing in your country right now? Because I think uh, till now uh, the women ha didn't have a chance to express themselves, to say uh, that uh, we are um, important in our country's um, future. But now they can uh, play an a, a important role in our uh, freedom. And it's a good chance for us. Do, are you optimistic? Do you have hope right now after the violence on Saturday? Do you think your protests can change anything? Yeah, I'm absolutely optimistic because uh, history has taught me that uh, all the uh, revolutions are start like this. Uh, every revolution has uh, its violence and uh, some people die. But nothing um, stays like this forever and uh, finally changes. And what about this uh, woman, Neda, who was killed on Saturday? Are people talking about her in Tehran? Yeah, yeah. I was so, um, I, I don't know, I was so sad when I saw her and I cried for, I think, one hour, me and my sister and my mother. And uh, every day, um, today in the street, this old woman, uh, said to the uh, forces, uh, didn't you kill Neda? You were the one who killed Neda. And uh, we don't let you uh, kill another Neda. And she said, we are all uh, Nedas today, and we are all going to, uh, we don't let that happen.